Hello and welcome back to Raccoon Justice, where justice done the raccoon way is the only way to do justice. Thank you so much for joining me again today. Please remember to give this video a massive thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. And if you, you are new, welcome. Today we're going to be talking about these rather fabulous people who do so much amazing work in the world so much charity work so much bring so much joy that's right we're talking about the inghams see it's been brought to my attention that i criticize them too much and i give them a bad rep far too much and i should be spreading joy rather than negativity so Chris, Sarah, I've changed my mind. You are in, you are indeed the most fabulous people that I've ever met. Especially you, Chris. Fabulous. That being said, I cannot wrap my head around some of the things that you do. Okay? No matter how fabulous you may be, you still doesn't give you the right to do some of the things that you do. And you, Sarah, you have no clue. You still have no clue. No matter how much we try to educate you on life, no matter how much you, you try to... You're trying to be, apparently, inclusive now. And you are... You're buying these dolls for Mila. You bought a doll for Mila. And what was it you said? It was an African Downs Syndrome baby. Is that what what it is? Is that your final answer as to what it's called? Sarah, do you know how absolutely ignorant that is of you? The fact that you would call it a Downs baby... People with disabilities like to be referred to as a person first. So you should be calling it a baby who has Down syndrome or a baby who suffers with Down syndrome. Not a Down's baby because disability does not come first. It's like you're disability does not define you so for you to say that is so ignorant and so disrespectful and yet you're the one that's trying to claim that it's all inclusive and trying to be all on trend and everything because i'm not quite sure why you you're doing it exactly but it just to be well, on trend, I think that's the only reason you're doing it. And unfortunately, you've missed the mark again. You have no clue what the real world is like outside your little bubble at all. And notwithstanding that, trying to also use inclusivity, trying to use dis disability and... But just trying to use this whole this whole thing to your advantage to make money out of is just sick again, isn't it? You must know that by now, Sarah. Absolutely unbelievable. Anyway. These rather fabulous idiots are off on their holidays again. I, I can't even begin to count how many times have they been away now it's become a bit of a joke and we know that this is not going to be the last time that they go away that's even stupider they're going away in the van when they come back from this trip so this is just a pointless trip away as well that's the thing they're going to a campsite which is only a an hour or so away from them just up the road so what is the point 
it's to give Mila the special memories, but she's only one, she won't remember it. She doesn't know what's going on. She won't even understand that it's her birthday. I'm not saying that you shouldn't celebrate it well, because you should. Because obviously the mother, she gave birth and everything, that's really what the, the birthday's for. But to to make a big, like, go away for it, why not just spend it at home? You don't need to be away. It's not a necessity. Anyway, I guess it is a necessity for for you to, to be away all the time because at home you have to deal with the reality of life, I guess. But Sarah, I'd just like to ask how... Um, what, I think, did you get a bit confused at one point? Because, what was it you said? Isabel is at home on her tutor lesson. I can't begin to explain what was wrong with that sentence. You've got two kids there with you who should be at home doing work, but are in the car with you. And then you've got the one who has finished school completely. Is at home doing a tutor lesson on what? what? What exactly is she doing? She's she's done her exams allegedly, and she she's apparently, according to you, taken a gap year, so she's not doing college. Um, but even if notwithstanding that, college doesn't start until September. So you know, uh, what's she doing? <laughs> Don't tell me she's doing her psychology. <laughs> oh, I just not. I told you. They are they are a fabulous couple, Chris and Sarah. They just fabulous. Yeah, Sarah went to well no, she didn't go to pick up her lost shopping, but she did call them, as I suggested she that she did. Not that she did it because I suggest yeah. You know. Anyway. She 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 phoned them up and apparently they do have her shopping there. See, I did say that. I said phone them up and they'll have it. They won't just take it home with them or anything. But she's agreed to, <laughs> she's agreed to um that well, they've agreed to hold it back for her until she she can be bothered to go in and pick it up. <laughs> Apparently, it's a two hour round trip. Okay, now m- other people, some of you may have differing opinions on this and what you might do and everything. But I personally think it's a little bit ignorant to ask them to to hold it back until you can just be bothered to come. Because Sarah said, "Oh." Well, uh, next time I'm at Nana's, I'll go and pick it up. It's like, no, go and <laughs> go make an effort to go and pick it up. They, they're they not a storage facility. They're holding shopping, which wasn't even bought in their store. <laughs> and so you can be bothered to go and get it. Now, also, if you had phoned them first thing that morning, you would have had time then to go and get it. But no, you faffed about faffed about you went to asda you went to home bargains and yeah you could have got i mean make an effort i know it's a two hour round trip but make an effort you could have done it on the route or i i don't know if it's in the right direction or not but you know you're going out so just make an effort to go or send chris or i don't know i'm just saying make the effort Okay, they they don't have the responsibility to hold your shopping from a different shop. And I'm just saying, personally, if it was me, I'd also be a bit concerned about whether or not they, the shopping then gets misplaced again. Because they'll hold it, but you don't, like, they don't have storage facilities there. It's going to, you know... The longer it's there, the the less chance it has of still being there. 
<laughs> anyway, that's just my opinion. Anyway, take it as you will. But yeah, I can't wait for this upcoming week for... That's another thing. What are you going to do in the the vlogs? I mean, where you've gone to is like um, a seaside resort, presumably. And what, what are you... There's nothing to do. There's nothing to make the vlogs exciting or enjoyable or anything like that. Just going to sit in the van, the caravan... And finally, finally, I just want to point out, your girls went to do a... They went to brush their teeth at the at the toilet blocks in, in the campsite. Now, I just want to point out, you spent how much money? Was it 36 grand or something on this caravan? And you won't even allow them to brush their teeth in it? What? Why spend all that money on the facilities and then just not allow them to use the facilities that they have? That's the whole point of the caravan, isn't it? No, just me. Well, I found it weird anyway. So, Chris, Sarah, please have a fabulous day. I know you will because you are fabulous, both of you. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. You are the most fabulous people that I have ever had the pleasure to come across. Everybody else, please have a wonderful day. Please remember to give this video a massive thumbs up. Comment everything you want to comment down below and subscribe to the channel. Take care and bye-bye.